A local businessman is using booze to better the community. He's auctioning off alcohol and giving the money to people in need. Nick Monticelli shows us who's benefiting from this unconventional fundraiser. I've got to be honest, this is probably one of the most unique fundraising efforts I have seen when you bring in things like bourbon to raise money for cancer or schools. In fact, I probably shouldn't even have this on the school property. Don't tell anybody. We got the holiday packs in too. We got to yeah. keep the holiday packs looking good. Dominic Apria and his business partner Rocky are always working hard at Tippins Market in Saline. But lately, Tippins is more than just a store. It has become a fundraising powerhouse. Dominic uses his access to unique and highly sought after bourbons for charity. The first benefactor was the cancer support community of Greater Ann Arbor. Dominic cold called with a proposition. We ended the conversation and I, I felt awkward because I thought she probably, this, this is weird, this is weird. I thought the idea and the concept was really fun and unique, but I didn't realize how substantial the donation was going to be. The goal was to raise $3,000. They raised nearly $7,000. I was just absolutely flabbergasted and, you know, had a little little scream on the phone. That's wonderful. That funds two of our support groups for a year. This all comes down to the goodwill of people. For instance, a school needed donations for pencils. So Dominic put up another unique bottle of bourbon that would normally sell for about 40 bucks. We had one individual that paid $560 for the bottle and we had handfuls of people that just donated money. Everybody wanted to help donate a box of pencils or 30 bucks or $20. They raised enough for 13,000 pencils, and it doesn't stop there. The chairs are really rickety. At Eberwhite Elementary in Ann Arbor, music teacher Jeffrey Willits is getting brand new chairs and some instruments worth over $1,000. In all, Tippins has raised over $10,000 in 30 days. People think bourbon guys are in the bars getting rowdy and you know, kind of wild guys or rude guys, and they're just everyday guys like, like all of us that want to help. In Saline, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Like and Dominic and Rocky say they'll continue their fundraising efforts and plan to focus their energy on schools and churches.